first time I met him, the first time I saw him or the first time I met him? The first time I saw him was in First Amendment. And I'd heard about this group called First Amendment and I was just starting to take improv classes. And I'd heard about this place way downtown. And Russ Riley took me to see a First Amendment show and Doug was in it. Doug was in it. And I could hardly speak afterwards because I was so in awe of him. I think I just went, and that was kind of it. So I don't know if that was officially meeting him. You know, he probably thought, oh, that poor girl, get her home. <laughs> I think uh, I went a few times to First Amendment after that. And then over time, the improv jam which you are clearly familiar with, Tom. Um, the Improv Jam, where people would show up from all different groups, and you'd go out to eat with a bunch of people and sit at a big table afterwards and chat. And I remember chit-chatting with him at the table, and it was just so funny. He was so funny. And just really, you know, he, good listener, really good listener. And you just felt really comfortable talking to him. So I remember chatting it with him after the jam. I think that's the first time I actually had a conversation without uh, me going, Hello, where I actually spoke in complete sentences. I went to visit him at the hospital and um, I just, I held his hand. I said, hey, Scale, I want to say hi from the floozies. Some of us have already come to see you. Some of us are on our way. Uh, I just want to let you know I love you. I, I sort of gave him a, a, a short dissertation of who was all in the room because I felt that was important, who was standing where. And um, I told him I loved him. And, and that was the last time I saw him. <laughs>